Have you ever wondered if eBay is a scam or worth buying from or just get overwhelmed when you're searching through the items on eBay? Today I'm going to be sharing 10 of my favorite tips when you are buying off eBay. So if you're interested, keep on watching. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you are new, my name is Silvana and I do mummy style videos. I just have to say before I get into this video that it is so nice to have my camera back. If you've been watching my videos for a little while now, you would know that I actually broke my Canon camera. I'm so happy to report that it is back in working order and I'm finally using it again for this video. Anyways, today I'm not talking about cameras, I'm talking about eBay. So I've been buying off eBay for so many years. I can't even remember how many years. Um, but more so I got really into eBay when my son was born or before he was born. He is now almost four and a half years old. So I've been in the market for some time now. So I have come across some tips and tricks when it comes to buying on eBay. So I wanted to share that with you because I know sometimes it can be quite overwhelming when you open eBay, there's all these different items for different prices and you just have to sort through thousands and thousands of products to get to something that you may possibly want to buy. Um, so these tips are just for eBay. They can be used for AliExpress or Wish or any of those other cheap um, websites where you're buying things from China. These tips can be used across all of those um, sites, but I'm just going to be referring to eBay for the purpose of this video. But let's get started. I've got 10 tips to share with you. I've got them written on my phone, so I'll be referring down here to make sure I've got all the information that I need to share with you. The first one is something that you may have been asking yourself, and that is whether it is safe to buy off eBay or whether it's a scam. In my experience, it is safe to buy off eBay. Um, now, with any online shopping, there's obviously a little bit of a risk with where you're buying from and receiving that item, especially if, if it is an overseas um, website like eBay is. Normally, most of the sellers are in Asia. However, you can get products in your country as well. So a tip with buying on eBay, if you're concerned about whether it's safe or whether it's a scam, please make sure you're checking out with PayPal. PayPal is your added security that you need just in case that item does not arrive or there's something wrong with it, then you can dispute um, for, for you to get your money back through PayPal. In my experience, there has been a couple of times, maybe more than a couple of times, where an item has not arrived for whatever reason. Like I said, most of the items from eBay, if you are looking for a cheap deal, are coming from Asia. So it does take a while for it to come to you and there can be, I guess, things that happen in the transit of that product. So at times I never even get the product even after waiting for four weeks. So I just contact the seller, tell them the product hasn't arrived. Most of the time they are happy to refund the full amount back into your PayPal account. So that's why I say make sure you do go through PayPal when you're checking out at all times. Now my next tip is on how to sort through all the products that, they are, that are on eBay. So if you're looking for a particular product, you can always use the keywords and type in exactly what you're looking for. For instance, I normally buy things for my kids, so it's always like kid related products. So it might be like toddler summer clothes or um, girl headbands or boy um, caps or something like that. So I'll type in my main title or my main keywords in the search part. And then what I like to do is put some filters on my search. So with eBay, if you're not familiar with it, there are thousands and thousands of sellers pretty much selling the exact same product, but for different prices. So when you're searching through all the items, you'll see identical products, but all at different prices. So to be able to kind of work out what kind of deal I'm getting to make sure I'm getting the best deal, I make sure I sort it from lowest to highest pricing. And that way, when I see something that I like, I always grab the lowest price point for that one. However, don't just go for the lowest price just because it is the lowest price. There are other things you need to look for, which I will cover um, throughout this video. But that is how I sort it. So I go in and type my keywords. Then I go and sort from lowest to highest price point. And then you want to look at buy it now items as well. So I never do biddings. 
um, or go through auctions on eBay. That is an option if you want to do that. It's just not the way that I buy eBay products. Um, I'm just too impatient to wait to see if my bidding is accepted. I just do it, buy it now, and then I just go through the checkout. So that's how I filter through all the products. It does still take a while for you to go through all the pages and work out which one exactly you want to buy. Um, I just open them in different tabs and then compare them um, once I've you know, got the, the favorite ones open. And then I'll go into more detail in the video as to what exactly I'm looking for for those products to make a decision as to which one I am going to purchase. My third tip is to always try and look for free shipping to get a better deal. So with eBay, you'll see there's some products that are free shipping and then other products, there is a cost for them to ship that item to you, which is um, addition to the item cost. So um, I just hate paying for shipping, so I always go for free shipping. Another tip for, again, sorting and just checking when you are looking at products is to always look at buy it now products and brand new products. So another filter option is um, brand new products or used products so I definitely always choose brand new I mean if you don't mind getting used products that is completely up to you that is an option that you have I always do brand new products and I do buy it now products as well so it's just the way that I filter through it um, to make sure I'm getting the best deal usually with brand new products there's less chance there's like scratches on it or tears in it or depending on what it is obviously um, you're just gonna get a better quality product if it's brand new so once you have picked a couple of items that you were interested in in purchasing on eBay but you're not sure which one because they all look the same, then definitely click on view description in the post. So every listing has a view description section. Make sure you click on that and read it thoroughly. It will hopefully explain the size of the item, the measurements, different color variations, and exactly what you're going to receive. You want to read exactly what will be sent to you um, in the package because sometimes um, some of the photos can be a little bit deceiving. I have made that mistake in the past with a, with a case cover. I thought I was getting a really nice case cover and I ended up, ended up receiving just like a transparent clear cover. And I was really confused as to why I got that and not what I ordered. But when I went in to have a look at the description, I actually had clicked on the wrong item when I checked it out. So just be mindful of that, that some eBay sellers will have an additional item with their listing to make their listing cheaper. So when you are sorting lowest to highest items um, in your filters, that they will show first. Um, now with eBay, like I said, norm normally all the products are coming from Asia. Um, so you want to order ahead of time. Sometimes it takes three or four weeks for it to get to you. If you are ordering an item that you need for a particular time frame, then just keep that in mind. Order way in advance, at least two months in advance, to make sure you're not disappointed. If you are really desperate in getting the item um, quicker than waiting for that three week shipping, there is another filter within eBay that you can select just your country of sellers. So they will take away all the Asian sellers and just filter for your country. For instance, I'm from Australia. I'll change the seller location to just Australia. So I'll be getting products just within Australia. So that will ensure that I will receive the item within the week rather than waiting for the item in like three or four weeks to arrive. And just be mindful that you will be paying more for that item because they can't give you as good a deal as um, the Asian sellers can. Um, but you will receive it a lot quicker than if you were to order it from an Asian country. The next tip is don't be afraid to ask the seller for a refund or a part payment if the item does not arrive, doesn't arrive on time, or if the item is not what it had been described on the listing to be. So I have received refunds numerous times through eBay, whether the item was faulty, like it broke as soon as I opened it or after one or two uses, they gave me my full refund back. And again, why it's so important to go through PayPal when you're checking out, because then they just refund it straight back into your PayPal account. Or if the item does not arrive at all, because there can be hiccups with the transit of getting it, um, again, I will just get a full refund, just explain to the seller that I haven't received it, it's been four weeks or whatever the case is, um, I'm expecting a refund for this um, purchase. 
So usually the eBay sellers are quite accommodating that way. I haven't had any major issues with not getting my money back. Sometimes it's a little bit delayed and they, they, they will come back and say, I will just check with my manager. I'll refund it within seven days and then seven days pass and you still haven't got it. Just make sure you're on top of it and you keep um, communicating to them that you still haven't received it, what's going on, and they will eventually pay you back. So um, there is a dispute that you can go through if they don't or you have any issues. So in that way, it is quite safe to buy off eBay. Um, just make sure you are checking out with PayPal. And my second last tip is don't set your standards too high when you're purchasing on eBay. As I've said already throughout this whole video, you are purchasing from an overseas country and usually it's coming from somewhere in Asia. And most of the time, because those items are quite cheap, you are probably getting a fairly half decent quality item as well. Um, but don't get me wrong, I purchased so many items from eBay and got a super, super good quality item and I've been really surprised by it. And then because of that, I've then repurchased from that seller shop again. So you can definitely get some really good gem sellers out there. You just have to be mindful that when you're purchasing it, not to expect too much um, when you receive the item or don't be too disappointed. Um, it's not too bad because you're not spending too much money or you're wasting too much money because most of the items are quite cheaply anyways. Um, but just keep that in the back of your mind that you may not be receiving exactly the highest quality item that you may expect or it, it seems like it on the listing. Sometimes the photos can be very deceiving. And my last tip is just to get some money back from buying online is to check out with shopback.com.au if you're in Australia. There are other sites that give you um, like a percentage back into your account when you're buying online. So just check that depending on where you live. I think Retail Me Not is a popular one overseas in the US. Um, but shopback.com.au I've been using for a little while now with eBay. However, they did cut off eBay transactions, I think in December. They may be bringing them back, but they're still available for AliExpress and I believe Wish as well. So if you are buying online through those websites, just check them out through shopback.com.au. It's the same process. Just go through that website, click on the website that you're going to be buying off and it'll open up that website as normal, um, but it'll be linked to shopback.com. Once you check out, then Shopback will um, then give you a percentage back. So you have to get $10, I believe, um, before they can bank this into your account. But if you're buying from online anyways, then why not get a little bit of extra cash into your account um, while you're doing that? So they're my tips with buying off eBay. I hope this is giving you the confidence and peace of mind that it is okay and it's not a scam. You will get the item and if you don't, you will get your money back as well. So have some fun, search through and see what goodies you can um, get through eBay. And if you're interested, I'm going to be doing an AliExpress eBay haul after this video. So subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And my battery is now flashy, so I have to end this video, but I hope this has helped. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.